Hey guys, Terry Purdue again. Uh, I said I was through with the warm brown sound by Eddie Van Halen. I'm through with that. Uh, I'm just gonna give you some uh, guitar, guitar and amp tips. Not guitar lessons. Um, there's plenty of guitar lessons on the on the internet. Let me give you some guitar tips. Most you probably have not heard. Uh, I'll tell you my experience. You know, when I, when I, when Van Halen came out, oh, wow. Oh, I was already playing guitar. I started playing at like 12. I'm 54 now. Uh, I was playing guitar. Oh, and I'm fooling you with this too. It's 11.30 p.m. I'm not Joe Satriani. I'm not Joe Satriani with the sunglasses. Uh, but anyway, uh, I learned that Eddie Van Halen was building his own guitars to get what he wanted to get, the sound he wanted to get, or the feel he wanted to get, you know, and I did the same thing. Uh, previous to that, I was satisfied. I bought every name brand guitar there was. I think the first first guitar I ever had was a was an Ibanez first name brand guitar. It was not, I had two or three before that, but they were not name brand name brand guitar. First one I had was like I think it was an Ibanez, and then. Uh, of course, I brought I bought the Gibsons and the Fender. I bought several Fenders, you know, and I was satisfied until Eddie came out. When Eddie came out, oh, oh wow, so crap! And the guitars I had could not make them sound like what he was doing. No way, couldn't do it. And then I found out he was building his own guitars. And then I started building my own. First guitar I built, I I went to a cabinet shop, and bought some poplar wood. And, uh, it was in like, I don't know, 16 inch strips about the, I don't know how thick it was, maybe about that thick. And I would glue them all together. And I didn't have all the proper tools to build a guitar far from it. Uh, but I wrapped some string around it, stuck some sticks in the back, tightened it down as tight as I could and tacked them in place and all that. And, uh, I, I knew that wasn't tight enough. But then I, I jacked my car up, I jacked my car up and stuck the wood under there, let the back tire down on it. Was that, uh, 1500, 2000 pounds, whatever, let it down there, let it set for 24, 36 hours, whatever in between there. And it worked like a charm, worked like a charm, man. Shit. The wood would, the, the, the wood would break before the glue would break. So I had that, I don't know, 16 by, maybe 16 by 16, whatever little pile of wood I had. And uh, then I just cut out, cut out the design of guitar that I wanted. It was based on like a flying B, but I cut some more stuff out of it. And it wasn't a flying B, but it, it was close to a flying B. Uh, and uh, then... Uh, uh, I didn't even know what a router was, but anyway, I got a router first time I ever used it. It was, a, it was a great router, but, uh, then I got me a, a the same pickup that Eddie Van Halen was using at the time and all that. I had the one pickup, one pickup, one volume knob. I didn't know how to wire a guitar. I had to go to my local guitar store. I live in Shreveport, Louisiana and, uh, went to Shreveport music, got with my man, Don Teach. He don't want me to mention his name. He's tired now. Uh, we became great friends, but he showed me how to, he showed me how to ride out a guitar and all that crap. Put the pickup in there. Uh, the volume knob wired it. He showed me how to wire a guitar. Uh, of course I've wired, I've built about 50 of them now. Uh, but did that whole deal, put it together, bought a Kramer neck. I bought a Kramer neck, put on the guitar and oh, I was in heaven. I was in heaven. Uh, and I was playing through a little PV amp, 30 watt PV amp. And she, oh man, I was in heaven. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. Here's my here's my number one guitar tip. Don't buy a freaking guitar off the freaking shelf. If it's hanging in a guitar store, don't buy it. Do not buy it. Do your own deal. Just like this. You see, this is a a a, a Wolfgang Wolfgang. 
it's not I didn't buy a EVH Wolfgang guitar I bought I bought the shit to put it together I bought unfinished nothing was on it everything was naked bought all the parts and you can buy them from and look I'm plugging them but I ain't making a penny off of them BYO BYO guitar.com you can pick out any guitar you want they'll send you the components all the parts everything put your own guitar together it's the same shit as Edward Van Halen plays or Ace Fraley or whoever you can get a Gibson Gibson uh this is a quilt top EVH quilt top EVH you can buy anything you want from I don't make a I ain't never met them I don't know them but i I ordered one. It freaked me out. It cost me 194 bucks for this guitar. 194 bucks. Same shit every band hand plays. Same shit. It just all, all comes in pieces. You put it together yourself. You can paint it if you want. Do whatever the hell. This is unfinished. This ain't got, this has got nothing on it. Nothing. Quilt top. Book matched. Whole bit. BYO. Here's the box. I did, I put this, I put this guitar together a week ago, one week ago, there it is, BYO, BYO guitar.com, you can get any, any kind, any kind of guitar you want from these people, they're in New Hampshire, get, get it, if you got any skills with a screwdriver at all, Get get one of these at byoguitar.com. I swear to God, I ain't making a nickel off of them.